This man worked at a pickle factory. His daily job was chasing the rats away. He could earn $5 every time he killed 10 rats. Facing the rats' attack, he gradually stepped backwards. As a result, he slipped and fell down into a vat of pickles. Coincidentally, at this time the factory was closed. Unluckily, no one discovered that he had fallen into the vat. And just like that, this man was brined with pickles in 100 years. Do you think he had died there? But unexpectedly, he hadn't. Time flew, things changed very quickly. 100 years had passed. These two kids' airplane toy coincidentally flew into the factory. While they were looking for it, the kids accidentally opened the vat. The 100-year brined man woke up like a miracle. He didn't change at all. Facing journalists' questions, the scientists finally managed to convince the crowd. However, this man couldn't even smile. Because the world in front of him was too strange. Everything had changed, his beloved wife also passed away 80 years ago. This man eventually lost control. Fortunately, he received a good news. They discovered that one of his relatives was still alive. He was his great-grandson, but now was at the same age as him. Very quickly they were reunited. They hugged tight. The old man found it very difficult to adapt. Looking at the skyscrapers, the busy traffic. He found things extremely strange. Facing the unfamiliar taxi driver, he intended to punch him. When the grandson took him to his apartment, he showed him many high-tech devices in the recent time. When he saw the water purifier, he was extremely shocked. Because in his day, pure water was very expensive. Water, anybody wants pure water? Only five dollars, only five dollars. The grandson took him out for a walk. He was given many kinds of food that he had never eaten. And saw the scooter which he had never seen. He then asked his grandson about his job. The grandson worked as a freelance app developer. And was currently developing his own app named Bootbop. A service that checked companies' ethics when buying their products. When he looked at the photos on the wall, he asked him why there wasn't any family photo. The grandson took out an album and introduced all the family members to him. Apart from his wife, he didn't know any of them. At this time, he wanted to pay his wife a visit. But when he arrived at the cemetery, he was extremely shocked to find that the cemetery had been left in shambles and became a landfill. Meanwhile, some dirty things dropped on his deceased wife's grave. He immediately approached and cleaned it and then burst into tears. The two stood in front of the graves and paid respect to their dead relatives. Right at this moment, a truck came to put up the billboard. So angry was the grandfather that he assaulted the construction workers, which led to his and his grandson's arrest. The grandson was able to bail them out of jail. When they returned home, the two started talking about the family graves, and then fell out with each other. The grandfather thought his grandson didn't care about their family, which made him very annoyed. In the end, they divided into two ways. The grandfather decided to create a pickle business in order to take down the billboard in the cemetery. He wanted to make the most delicious pickles in the easiest way. This man had been brined in a vat of pickles for 100 years. To prove his capacity to his grandson, he decided to make his own pickles. But he was such a penniless guy that he couldn't buy a cucumber. Therefore, he could only come to the trash bins to find leftovers. Finally, he managed to find two packs of cucumbers and some discarded parts to make a small cart. He then collected some discarded bottle. He washed them and started making his pickles. He put the cucumbers and salt in the bottles and waited for the rain to fill up the bottles. As expected, his pickles caught on very quickly. His business became a huge success over social media. Many journalists came to interview the grandfather, which made the grandson extremely jealous. The grandfather who had caused his arrest was now telling the world that he was stupid. Of course he could never forgive this. Hello, I want to report a crime. Very quickly the officers came to the grandfather to stop his business. They wanted to confiscate his pickles. He was also charged $12,000. People started to criticize and boycott his pickles. After hearing so, the grandson was very satisfied. One day, the grandfather's old customers came and gave him some advices. They told him to find a group of interns who didn't ask to be paid. Because all they needed was work experience. That plan would be one shot, two kills. With his dedicated guidance, the pickles became even more popular. His delicious pickles could be sold on the market again. All the interns voluntarily introduced the pickles on the street, which helped them be recognized and accepted again. The grandfather finally managed to earn enough money to refurbish the cemetery and remove the billboard. He was now very excited. However, when the grandson saw lots of news about his father's pickles and his being invested, he became even more jealous. This man had stayed in a vat of pickles for 100 years but his ability was still widely recognized. He also received offers to establish a company. After achieving great success, he returned to his great-grandson's apartment. 
but his grandson was very annoyed. He then introduced Twitter, a popular social network to him. But the grandson said, sorry, I was wrong. You're too old for social network. The grandfather was very angry when he heard that. However, a weird smile appeared on the grandson's face. The grandfather left the apartment and came to one of his interns. He asked her to help him tweet his thoughts on Twitter. The assistant was very worried, but she still had to listen to her boss. The next morning, when he woke up, there were many people demonstrating outside. That's right, his controversial tweets attracted criticism. So stressed was the assistant that she joined the crowd. Many journalists came to interview him. The whole world started discussing the right and wrong of his statement. Unexpectedly, he became even more famous. At the press conference, the grandson pretended to be a journalist and questioned his thoughts on Christianity. Because he knew his grandfather would give a very bad answer. As expected, the grandfather was despised by the public. Many people held a large demonstration. What's worse, they even asked to forfeit his identity. The grandfather broke into his grandson's apartment and begged him to help him get to the Canadian border. Then they started their journey to Canada. When they were walking past the woods, the grandson carelessly fell and was wounded. But his grandfather carefully treated his wound. Night fell and it snowed, they hugged each other to keep warm. Everything happening on their way made the grandson realize his faults. He then admitted to doing bad things to his great-grandfather. After hearing that, the man became angry and punched his grandson in the face. He then put on his grandson's clothes and shaved off his beard. The fainting grandson was found by the police. They mixed him up with his grandfather and then took him to the old village where his grandfather used to live. The grandfather returned to his grandson's apartment. When he opened the albums, a picture falling down drew his attraction. It made him realize that he was wrong. In fact, the grandson had tried very hard to make the family proud. When the grandson arrived at the old house, which was very strange to him, he regretted doing bad things to his grandfather. No matter how difficult was he, he was still his family. After realizing that, he cried. At this time, the grandfather also arrived at his old place, where he found the grandson, and could speak out what was in his mind and clear up the misunderstanding. He was very proud of his descendant. After a while discussing, the two decided to make their pickles famous. They looked at each other and smiled happily. They decided to start over and, together they developed a pickle-selling website.